This episode is brought to you by HERS. Now the seasons are about to change. We are going into spring, but don't let the external things be the only things that you prioritize. So like cleaning up your space or organizing, make sure you're doing some internal spring cleaning with your mental health as well. At ForHers.com, you can get access to real medical providers who can prescribe trusted anxiety and depression medication if it's right for you. The process is 100% online, including unlimited check-ins, provider messaging, and support along the way. Plus, to make things even simpler, you can get your first month of treatment for just $25 if prescribed. To get started, go to ForHers.com slash spring. That's ForHers.com slash S-P-R-I-N-G. What's not good for anyone's mental health is all of the stress that goes into getting the care that you need and getting access to it. That's why HERS makes it super simple. Get started today at ForHERS.com slash spring. That's ForHERS.com slash S-P-R-I-N-G. Offer only available if prescribed. Prescription products require an online consultation with the healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. Additional restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. So, how does it feel when you play Roll Up to Win with Tim Hortons? Buy a hot or cold beverage using the Tim's app and find out. Roll in the app for a chance to win prizes ranging from free coffee and donuts to a Universal Orlando resort vacation or a sweet car. Oh, don't forget the TV. And this year, every roll is a shot at a $1,000 daily giveaway drawing for two $500 prizes. Roll up to win and get treated by Tim's. No purchase necessary. Account registration required. 50 U.S. and D.C. 18 plus entered by 4223. See rules at rolluptowin.com for free entry of full details. Void in Florida and where prohibited. Hey, this is Tim Nibo, co-founder of Vincero. Small batch, premium lifestyle accessories are what we're all about. From automatic timepieces to handcrafted polarized sunglasses, our dedication to craftsmanship runs through everything we do. See, we believe the accessories you choose to carry on a daily basis matter. That's why we design everything in-house, source all of our own materials, and produce in small batches. It's the only way to guarantee everything we make and the reason we have over 40,000 five-star reviews. Check out why GQ called us their go-to brand and join our community of over half a million happy customers. Shop our watches, eyewear, and accessories at vincerocollective.com slash radio. And when you do, take 20% off with code radio. That's V-I-N-C-E-R-O collective.com slash radio. And don't forget to apply that code radio at checkout for 20% off your entire purchase. At Kroger, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we're dedicated to doing up to a 27-point inspection on our fruits and veggies, checking for things like scarring. In fact, only the best produce, like zesty oranges and crisp carrots, reach our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh, our higher standards mean fresher produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Save big on your favorites with the buy five or more, save a dollar each sale. Simply buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with your card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. You are listening to Blessed and Bossed Up, presented by Anchored Media, an entrepreneurship podcast for Christians all about how to make God the CEO of your business. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, but well-equipped to live and build your destiny His way. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast. I'm hyped that I can sit down and give you guys this message and these revelations that I want to share. The last few weeks been a little rough for your girl, um, not just with anything necessarily going on, just very busy. I'm preparing for maternity leave. I'm in my third trimester right now. And listen, y'all, when I tell you I'm no good for anybody after 3 p.m., <laughs> so... <laughs> I've been battling unrelated to, you know, today's episode. I've just been battling with feeling unproductive throughout this pregnancy. And I felt it in the first trimester because the first trimester I was so just nauseous and exhausted. I was no good. This last trimester so far is just my energy is zapped, like totally zapped. And it being pregnant with a toddler is like a different level. Why y'all ain't tell me? (laughs) It's a different level of tired. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm getting adjusted to that. So thank you guys for your patience over the last couple of weeks as I've had to do some, some replays, but I'm back and I'm excited about today's episode and I'm excited about this maternity leave content. I've been planning the maternity leave episodes since I found out I was pregnant. I'm not going to give you a ton of reruns <laughs> throughout my maternity leave. They're going to be fresh episodes, but I'm excited about the guests that I'm going to have and the stories we'll be able to tell over the course of that three month period. But nevertheless, today's episode is a really good follow up to one I did a few weeks ago about don't take the pruning personally. And if, in that episode, if you have not listened to it, pause right now. Go and listen to that episode. I'll put the link to it in the show notes to make it easy for you. Go listen to that episode and then come back. Now, in that episode, I talked about how I was in a pruning season and I was really in my feelings about it. The scripture I gave was in John 15, where it says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit and he prunes branches that do bear fruit so that they will produce even more. And I was talking about, and I gave even the horticultural reference of why things need to be pruned and the benefit of it. And God even was sharing with me, you know, you can't fit new wine into old wine skins because new wine has to expand. It needs room for the expansion and the old wine skins wouldn't be able to accommodate the expansion necessary for the new wine. And I was finally getting it once I got out my feelings and I was able to hear God clearly because my I was so intoxicated by my emotions. I wasn't able to be sober and vigilant like we're supposed to. I was able to calm down and really realize the beauty and what God was doing, even if it didn't feel good. And I wanted to follow up on that episode because over the last few weeks, my eyes have been open to the result of what can truly happen when you let God prune you. And of course, I had to come and follow this up on the podcast because in that episode, I was just sharing my heart. And many of you guys messaged me and was like, girl, I understand exactly what you're saying. I'm right there with you. I've been there. And so for those of you guys who are in that in that space, I wanted to provide some encouragement the way that God has encouraged me over the last couple of weeks. Because when I tell y'all that bear even more fruit has really been my life and God really creating more from the same (laughs) is it's just mind boggling to me when you really see the word active you know the word is alive and it I'm just always in awe of God so check this out over the last couple of months what has really been stressing me out is how God has been pruning me in both my business and then my home life And so right now it was essentially like, or what it's been has been essentially like this complete restructuring of everything, the way that it had been set up up until that point. So even with my business, he had me, he's had me in a restructuring period in my business. I've had to stop doing some things. I've had to add some things. I've had to let people go. I've had to restructure a lot as it relates to my business model and how things operated. And then on top of that, being pregnant, I had this added pressure on me because it's going to be a three month period where I'm not working. Right. I refuse. I refuse to compromise my my presence in my home for my business. Like that is when I say she is uncompromising, I mean that 100 percent. But with that, there was this added stress because it felt like I was racing against the clock. And then it was this period, really, honestly, where like my mind and my body weren't even really on the same page about me being pregnant, where my, I'm trying to do all of these things and my body be like, yo, no, we need to rest. We need to take a nap. We need to sit down. But my mind was going and it was just such a stressful period because I'm trying to honor my body. But I have this these problems that needed to be fixed when it came to the business. And God has just completely disrupted how I thought things were fit to go. And it was just very, very stressful. It was pruning. But of course, it did not feel good at all. I didn't feel like God was 
pruning me so I could bear even more fruit. I was taking it personally. Like I said in, in the previous episode, I was in my feelings. And then on top of that, my son is getting ready to go to uh, private school. My husband and I are have been on the same page since we first started dating that we want our children to be in private school and to have a quality education. We are just two people who are big on education. And so it was always a non-negotiable for our children to be in certain schools. Of course, with that comes a certain price tag. And so, of course, that's on my mind. I have this child that's getting ready to go to private school. Of course, I still have my nanny and, and I wanted my son. I could have kept him home longer, but at that, by the time the baby's born, my son will be three. He's a COVID baby, so he's not used to being around a bunch of people. So it's time for him to get acclimated into a classroom setting and, of course, continue to grow in that way. And then our nanny will take over with the new baby. And so things, of course, process wise, (laughs) are going to be able to run as smooth as possible. Kids, it never goes totally according to plan. But nevertheless, there's an expense added to that. So with my business being in a restructuring period, while finances being very important because of the transitions our family is making and the standard that we have for our family. It was very stressful. And I thank God I have a husband who is a provider. Like he is a straight up provider. My husband will work 20 jobs, drive Uber, Instacart, paint roofs, clean the streets before he ever asked me to do anything to contribute a dime to our household. And I love him for that. But at the same time, that's a ridiculous amount of pressure to put on someone. And I thank God up until this point, he's given me the freedom to do what I wanted to do in my business to where I wasn't taking a big salary out of my company. I'm building and growing and reinvesting in all of those things. So I was at a place where, yeah, we're making multi six figures, but I'm not taking that home because I'm trying to get to this million. Right. And so it was it was a very it has been a very tough season. Because with more uh, financial obligations, of course, you need more money. And so I'm stressed about that. I'm like, God, this this schooling got to get paid for. Um, I don't want BJ to have to. I know him. So I know what he's going to do. He's going to make it happen. But I don't want him to do that because he's also about to have another child. And he's a very active father. He's not the provider so much to where he doesn't do anything with the kids. He's going to do both. He's just not going to (laughs) sleep. So both of us be sleep deprived and stressed. And it was just a a period for me where I was really, really stressed out. But let me tell y'all how Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shaddai, the God who is sufficient for the needs of his people, El Roy, the God who sees, Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, my God. Let me tell y'all, when I finally got on my feelings, like I told you I would a couple episodes ago, and started to see the bearing much fruit, I can't even articulate to you how all how in all I am of God right now. First of all, let's talk about the business part. I had to literally close my books for consultations on, I closed them on Friday. I had to close my books because I had so many clients coming in. I simply just did not have the capacity (laughs) to be able to serve any more people. And that is an excellent problem to have. And with the adjustments that God has had me make in the business that I was all in my feelings about, my profit margins are amazing. And then even the particular service I'm talking about where we manage and produce podcasts, this is a 12 month commitment, which means this is guaranteed income because our clients are contractually obligated, of course, to meet the financial obligations of this contract. So these are 12 month commitments that are being locked in. My Again, my overhead has been cut drastically. So my profit margins have increased significantly. 
I, again, I had to cut these books off. I don't know where these people were coming from. Be, one of the other reasons why I was so stressed is because as I'm restructuring the business, that's taking away time for me to go and sell the products and services. And so that's why uh, that's where a lot of that frustration was because I'm like, God, I got to fix some things because as I'm restructuring it and moving some stuff around, I'm realizing how some things can now get tuned up stuff that I was outsourcing before. Now that I have my hands on it and I can see it fully, I'm seeing mistakes that were made. I'm seeing uh, gaps that could be closed, problems that need to be solved. So I can't, how am I restructuring this while also bringing in new clientele? It was frustrating for me, but God, when he said he will make your name great, that is facts. I've seen that alive and well. I'll be looking at my emails like, where are these people coming from? This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. I told you guys how last year, for the better part of the year, I was in therapy and I learned so much about myself. One of the things that kind of shocked me was I've always been very, very good with boundaries. But my therapist helped me to realize how when it came to people I love, my boundaries got a little bent. I had a soft spot, of course, because I love them. And so I wasn't being as strict with those boundaries as I could. And that was just a huge breakthrough moment for me to keep in mind when I am dealing with and you know having a relationship with people I love to still maintain my boundaries. Getting to know yourself, it's a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. And so therapy is about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we act the way that we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash blessed today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash blessed. This episode is sponsored by refundspro.com. If you own a small to medium sized business that kept employees on payroll through COVID, you may have a big cash refund waiting for you. The employee retention credit is a tax credit of up to $26,000 per employee. And now more businesses than ever qualify. The experts at refundspro.com specialize in cutting through the red tape of qualifying for this government program. Most of their refunds are over $100,000. Even businesses that have received PPP loans may be eligible. And there's absolutely no fees unless you receive a refund. So there's no reason not to apply. If your business experienced shutdowns, limited capacity, supply chain challenges, or reduced revenue due to COVID, you likely qualify. RefundsPro.com has already helped hundreds of businesses, so don't lose the refund you're owed by missing the deadline. Get started today with a free five-minute questionnaire at RefundsPro.com. That's Refunds with an S, Pro.com. This episode is brought to you by NetSuite. We talk all the time on this podcast about how you should be an effective CEO of your business and make the best long-term business decisions. That's why I'm so excited to talk to you about NetSuite. NetSuite gives you the visibility and control that you need to make better decisions faster. And for the first time in NetSuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. And you can take advantage of this special financing offer today. NetSuite is number one because they give your business everything that you need in real time, all in one place to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, build forecasts, and increase productivity across every department. 
Now, again, in order for you to make the right executive decisions, you need to have all the information. And sometimes it can just be a waste of mental space to have to go through so many different manual processes, different places, and just redundant systems to find the information that you need. So having it all in one place is absolutely necessary for you to make the best decisions. 33,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite giving visibility and control over their financials, inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more. If you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented. No interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash blessed. netsuite.com slash blessed to get the visibility and control that you need to weather any storm. NetSuite.com slash blessed. Sponsorship requests that are popping up to sponsor this podcast in my inbox coming out of nowhere. When one of the stressors I had last year was the podcast partner I was working with. This was like towards the middle to the end of last year. One of the podcast sponsors I was or partners that I was working with cut my ad revenue. And so that was a huge shot to my business because that was income with no cost attached to it. So it was essentially 100% profit that comes from these ads. And so that was a huge shot to my business, which exacerbated a lot of my problems. And so I was like, so now, you know, over the last few weeks, all of these sponsors that are coming in, all of these clients that are coming in, God has been so faithful. So not only have I seen him allow me, because again, I didn't do anything different. I didn't add any services. I didn't go and create anything in order to generate. I didn't go and do anything, but he peeled back. He pruned, he cut off so that the thing that was already there could produce even more. And that is exactly what happened. I don't know about y'all, but I know the word is a living word. But when I see it, I am just like, God, you are the man for real. And so I've just been so in awe. And then even on top of that, something that I assumed that I was going to have to do away with because of this restructuring was my initial goal of getting out of the day-to-day of the business. So because of the work that we do, the amount of clients that we have, and then of course, all the other things outside of the services Anchor Media provides, like I have books and journals and Uh, this podcast and all of these other things that go into the full scope of what I do, my goal has been to get away from the day-to-day operations. I I would tell my husband, I'm like, man, I'm tired. I've been grinding since my early 20s. It's been over 10 years of me grinding. I've been building brands forever. Like I am exhausted. I want to just enjoy the freedom of entrepreneurship. I don't want to be stuck behind my computer. When we're taking our son to school, I want to be there. When they're having a bake sale and they need somebody to make cookies for the class, I want to do that. If I want to go and try a new restaurant in the middle of the day because I feel like it. Like I want to have the freedom of my time to be with my family and also do the things that I want to do and to be able to enjoy. And I thought I would have to sacrifice that because of the restructuring of this business. But God says, no, 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 sweetheart. I said that I would give you the desires of your heart. So watch this. So this whole time, my husband has been, um, it's this project management software that we're, we've been trying to move to for the longest, but I've not had time to pay attention to it. My husband has been in my email <laughs> documenting every single process of our business, everything, the communications with clients, the process to deliver our service, the process of renewing clients, um, every single thing, the advertising process with podcast sponsors, everything that we do in business, he's been paying attention to it. In, in my emails, paying attention, meeting with other people in the team as need be, communicating with people so I don't have to communicate with them. And he's uploaded all of this data that he has accumulated 
by just paying attention into this new uh, project management software that we're going to use within the business. And he's shown me ways that we can be more efficient, ways that we can close gaps, ways that we can better systemize our processes that reduces our overhead costs. And it also reduces the amount of time it takes to do things. All of these things he's put together for me. And he's going to train and communicate with the team on how to do it. And I was so grateful for that. Uh, like I, Y'all, I'm trying to contain myself. But I didn't ask him to do that. But God always makes sure. And he and my husband will tell me like, yo, I'm really making sure. Like you don't need to do some of these things that you're doing. So we're, instead of you doing this, we're going to do that. So I'm going to take this off your plate and put that here. So we're going to do that. Just fixing whatever needs to be fixed, restructuring everything that needs to be restructured so that my goal of being able to enjoy the day-to-day and being present in a day-to-day and not stuck behind my computer all day is able to still be met. So not only once I got all my feelings, so not only was I able to see how God was allowing me to increase my income And not by doing anything else. Because remember, that's the thing about pruning. You cut off and pull back so new can grow from old. So I'm sitting here watching the new grow from the old. And it's mind-boggling to me. Because all the things that I was stressed about, God had already made a way for it. Private school expenses, he made a way for it. Not by us doing anything new. But by making these changes. Letting him be the CEO of my business and letting him make these changes despite how they made me feel. So now I have that much more financial freedom. Now I'm able to free up my time even more due to the changes my husband has been making. So that I could spend more time with my family. So I could have a joyful and peaceful maternity leave loving on this blessing that God has allowed me to carry up until this point and that he will allow me to carry uh, to, to delivery. Even with our my new business, Anchored Media Studios, something that was once stressful because I'm like, yo, we got to get this business up and running. We got to make this money, all these different things. Of course, there are expenses with the, the business because we own the building. We got to pay this mortgage, these bills, all of this. We've had bookings and things come through for the studio that came out of nowhere, no work has gone into getting people to come and and rent the studio. But here they are. God does not play about his people. And as I was just really thinking about this and praising God and thanking him, because again, I'm still in awe. I came to what is now the title of this episode, which is God's word is practical. So his word is given to us in a way to where we can act it out, live it out, embody it, right? So if the definition of a practical means of or concern with the actual doing or use of something rather than theories and ideas. And uh, some, some synonyms for it is real, actual, active, applied. So God's word is all of these things. It's practical. This Bible is a manual for us to use and to live out. It's a standard of living. There's advice, there's encouragement, there's tools, there's instructions. There's so much in this word that's practical. And for me personally, I sometimes get so caught up in the practical that I don't leave room to recognize the unconventional. Because unconventional means not based on or confirming to what is generally done or believed. So some synonyms for that are unusual, irregular, unorthodox, unfamiliar, uncommon. That's that is how God's ways are. His word is practical so that we can live it out. But his ways are unconventional. They're uncommon. We can't figure God out. In Isaiah 55, one of my favorite scriptures that I always have to remind myself, starting at verse eight, it says, my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. 
It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to. And it will prosper everywhere that I send it. You will live in joy and peace and mountains and hills will burst into songs and the trees of the field will clap their hands. In my study Bible commentary, I love, it says, the people of Israel were foolish to act as if they knew what God was thinking and planning. His knowledge and wisdom are far greater than any humans. We are foolish to try to fit God into our mold, to make his plans and purposes conform to ours. Instead, we must strive to fit into his plans. And that was my point in the last episode. And that's been my realization as things have continued to unfold in my own life. That once I got out of my feelings, start stop taking that pruning season personally and open my eyes to see what God is doing. I'm able to see this scripture in real time. Remember verse 11, it says, It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will always accomplish what I want it to do and it will prosper everywhere I send it. I am seeing in real time what John was talking about when he says that he will prune us so that we can bear even more fruit. I'm seeing in real time just how his thoughts are nothing like my thoughts. Because my thoughts be anxious <laughs> and his ways are far beyond anything that I could imagine. And I am just so grateful and rejoicing right now and wanted to come on the podcast to share that with you because I told you guys about the test and the trials and just the tough time and the stress and all of that and the frustration because it's real. I'm committed to God, but I'm human. And I I want to humanize this walk on this show so that you understand that you're not alone, so that you have language to how you feel, so that you have encouragement to how God will turn things around. And so that so I can also always send you back to the word because it will never return back to him void. That's scripture. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I was excited to come and share it with you. So any of you guys who may find yourself in a pruning season, be encouraged, be encouraged because yes, his word is practical, but God's ways are very unconventional. We don't understand it. We can never make him fit into our mold and we just need to get with his program, period. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode. I love you guys and I'll talk to you next week. So, how does it feel when you play Roll Up to Win with Tim Hortons? Buy a hot or cold beverage using the Tim's app and find out. Roll in the app for a chance to win prizes ranging from free coffee and donuts to a Universal Orlando Resort vacation or a sweet car. Oh, don't forget the TV. And this year, every roll is a shot at a $1,000 daily giveaway drawing for two $500 prizes. Roll up to win and get treated by Tim's. No purchase necessary. Account registration required. 50 U.S. and D.C. 18 plus enter by 4223. See rules at rolluptowin.com for free entry of full details. Void in Florida and where prohibited. At Kroger, shopping with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in-store. Same low prices, deals, and rewards on the same high-quality items. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for busy families everywhere. Start your cart today at Kroger.com. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Restrictions apply. See site for details. And right now, stock up on your favorites during the 10 for 10 sale. Mix and match participating items and get 10 for just $10 with your card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 